Hello, I'm Martina, the artist behind Martina's Fine Art. Recently, a good friend asked me if I could draw her dog. Last year, I drew the other one she had, the mother of this one. So, if you kind of recognize this one as a little familiar, well, you're totally right. The drawing is made on drafting film, a surface I really love for small realistic drawings. It's very smooth, so you can get all the teeny tiny details in. But it saturates quite easy, so that's a fact you'll have to deal with. It definitely has a learning curve. In a few former videos I told about working on drafting film, so if you're interested in this process I suggest you have a look at these ones. Of course I worked with the polychromos from Faber-Castell. They work the best on drafting film in my opinion. But they lack a few colors so I took a few Prismacolor and a few luminance out of their boxes too. First of all I created a line drawing. It's beneath the drafting film and helps me to keep proportions right. As usual, I created it using two grid sheets. I also have a video explaining how I use those grids. Later in this video I've put a simple grey print under my drawing because I knew I wanted a digital airbrush beneath the drawing in the end. I will explain this later. The fur is created by careful layering. Most of the times I follow certain basic steps. First, I create a mid-tone base layer with several colors. Then I cover this with some darker tones by coloring in the hairs. And third, I put in the really darks and last I create lighter hairs on top of this. I can create these lighter hairs using several methods. Scratching with a sharp knife, erasing with my eraser pencil, or last of all I can use a magical mixture. Of course that's not the real name, but I think it should be named that way. It's a mixture of titanium white powder with touch-up texture from Russian's pencil. I can mix these products and make a kind of white paint. Using a small synthetic brush I can paint the lighter hairs on top of the darker ones. In this drawing I've used all three of these methods. So I love drafting film, but just for certain kind of drawings. For real big ones or for ones with a smooth black background, I prefer sanded paper. So, in the end, when I didn't need the line drawing anymore, I replaced the line drawing by a grey sheet. With this I could see the lighter hairs on the backside of her ear and on the top of her head. When I finished the drawing, I created a digital airbrush with my iPad, using the app Procreate. This also took me a while because I had to try several backgrounds. 
I think the layering of the printed airbrush and the drawing gives the project a real cool look. Well, that's it. Maybe you can give me a like if you enjoyed it. And don't hesitate to post your questions, of course. If you live in the Netherlands and want to learn to work on drafting film or sanded paper too, there is also a possibility to attend one of my workshops. And of course, grab your own supplies and try. It's real fun. So see you next time and have a nice day.